Civil society groups have criticized the publication of the Public Benefits Organization Amendment Bill that limits foreign funding for the groups at 15%. The organization say they will stage demonstrations and pursue judicial redress to reject a scheme they allege is aimed at punishing a section of the civil society for their linkage to the international criminal court cases against the president and the deputy president. The human rights organizations now claim that government is out to muzzle the alternative voices that keep the government in check. This government seems to understand only one language, to control. Yet, we are talking about a government that came into power a few months ago on a wide public support and mandate. Why is it behaving as though it has some legitimacy deficit? Why, why all of a sudden, why this state of panic? When people who are in power are in a state of panic, society is endangered. Because these are people who control tools of coercion. And we are there for suspecting. And there is every indication that part of this bill is aimed at targeting certain organizations, mostly those that deal with human rights and governance, that are suspected to have come to the rescue of victims of post-election violence that occurred and visited this country in 2007-2008. Politicians should not allocate, give themselves the, that, that role of assuming everybody else is bad except themselves. Today, they, have, they are targeting the media. The other day, they are targeting the, the other arm of, of the government, the other arm, which is now the, uh, the, uh, the judiciary. Now they have come for civil society. I think the bigger question is, who, who are they targeting next? This country belongs to all of us as Kenyans. It does not belong to a few politicians just because they feel that they are now in parliament, they have all the powers.